Sometimes it seems that weird stuff just sort of falls down from the sky. There are numerous cases of weird things coming down from above throughout history, often without solid answers. In recent years this has continued with a surprising amount of cases in which strange metallic orbs have come down out of nowhere to leave people scratching their heads and wondering what to make of it all. Here we look at some bizarre instances of falling metallic orbs or spheres which have managed to evade any real concrete understanding. In 2012, villagers in northern Brazil were startled when a metallic sphere dropped from the sky to crash down at the village of Riacho dos Porsos, in Brazilian Maranao state, obliterating a cashew tree in the process. The villager who first discovered it said that it had come down after a loud crack reverberated across the sky, and would say, I heard the noise and I went out to see what caused it. I thought it was a plane that had fallen, or an earthquake. What he found was a strange, otherworldly object in a ditch still hot to the touch, and described as being perfectly spherical and about one meter in diameter and weighing 50 kilograms. They found that the sphere seemed to be hollow, except for what seemed to be a bit of liquid swishing about within. Around 2,000 people from all over the area flocked in to see the UFO, rather ominously, military police soon arrived and took the sphere away, saying that it was just a part of a downed satellite. The state of Texas in the United States had a similar incident in 2013, when an electrician by the name of Dean Gents spotted a weird object near a cow pasture on his land, near the town of Boona, in East Texas. Upon inspection, it could be seen that the object was a brown metallic orb around 35 centimeters in diameter and bearing signs that it had undergone extreme heat exposure. When I first saw the object got my attention. The way one side of the sphere was melted I didn't think someone could have done that with a torch, plasma arc, arc gouge, or any other means I knew about. Also, when you heat metal, it will cool and have a different look. As in this case, the melted metal spalling was blown back over the sphere, I knew that it had been done in an event, not by humans. In 2014, residents in Mengkang village in the province of Heilongjiang, China, were woken by a booming noise, after which three fireballs were spotted descending from the heavens. When the locals went to investigate they purportedly found three separate metallic balls half covered by a layer of jagged edge, weighing around 90 pounds and with a diameter of about 30 inches. Once again, officials reportedly were quick to move in to confiscate the strange objects. That same year, a goat farmer in the town of Calasparra, Spain, reported that a cylindrical, semi-spherical metallic object had crashed down right before his eyes. Officials in biohazard suits reportedly retrieved the object and drove it off in a truck. Bizarrely, at around the same time on the same day and even at the same latitude, a similar object fell on a beach near the city of Sakaya Korosu, Turkey. Once again, military officials immediately moved in, took the object away, and didn't even bother to offer an explanation. In January of 2016, news began making the rounds that giant metal space balls were falling from the sky in Vietnam. On different occasions, a thunder-like noise was heard, and three orbs of varying size ranging from 6 to 50 kilograms in weight appeared out of clear skies to crash into the ground below in close proximity to each other. Where are these objects coming from? Why are they falling here precisely? Will more fall, and what would happen if any of these balls fall into a highly populated area? UFOlogist and conspiracy nut Scott Waring of UFO Sightings Daily, who called them alien drones or parts of damaged alien structures in space. I believe these are cloud orbs otherwise known as alien drones that were struck by lightning or shot down. Alien tech does not usually have wires and loose circuits like our tech has. Alien tech is on a micro scale and is built into the metal of the craft itself. Much like a 3D printer printing the wires inside of a toy robot so when it's finished, all you do is add the batteries. Alien Tech has it all built in, except for their propulsion system. Such conspiracies have only further been fueled by reports that military officials were quick to come whisk the spheres away, and claims that they were made of an unknown special alloy. The orbs remain unidentified and have been confiscated by the government for testing. 
What is going on here? In the end it is all rather puzzling. These things keep falling from the sky and there doesn't seem to be a real, agreed upon answer to it all. Why is it that in almost every case officials swoop in to take it all away and give vague answers, if any? What is going on here?